Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube short in DaVinci Resolve. This is a few steps to creating a YouTube short that should make things a little bit easier, and this is the process that I've found. So the best thing to do is to head over to your Edit tab, starting a new project, go into your Project Master settings and go to Timeline Resolution, and then select Custom. Now this is set to 1920 by 1080 as default. We actually want to change that so it's the other way around. So it's 1080 and then 1920. This flips at your formats that you end up with the portrait style which you'll be using on your phone. That's where the people are going to be viewing it. And then in my instance, I'm also going to change the frame rate to 59 frames per second because I'm going to be using a clip that I captured with OBS. And then I'm going to pull that into the timeline. So I'm just going to drag it into the edit section. Now you'll see that the timeline view is now in that sort of portrait style and I'm basically going to trim the clip down to make sure I've got what I want because obviously the key to a short is keeping it short so I'm just finding that one little bit that I want which is just about 10 seconds long and then obviously I now need to format that so it fills up this space. Now there are two different ways to do this. You can head over to the transform tab so if you click on the inspector tool and then go into transform you can zoom so you can just drag it and zoom in so you're filling that space. This is the easy way to do it and it's one of the ways but there's actually an easier solution and what I'm going to do now is just reset that and show you. So if you head down to reframing and scaling down the bottom click on scaling and then click fill. If you do that it will automatically fill the project settings and go into that view so you can now see that it's filling up the whole thing. Obviously this is centered so if you wanted to focus on something else in the frame you could adjust the position using the transform options at the top still so you can move around if you wanted to focus on something else that was on the left or right of the center view for example but that's the quickest way to do it. Now we're going to go and export. Now normally if you click on the YouTube tab you'll see that you have it 1920 by 1080. This is obviously not what we want because you then be exporting a video that's in portrait but into the 16 by 9 and it'd end up looking terrible. So you need to go over to the custom export tab and make sure that you select the video option in there and then once again we're going to select custom from here instead of 1920 and we're going to swap that around so it's 1080 1920 and then make sure the frame rate matches what you've already selected and what the speed of your clip is and then basically select a name for it i'm just going to call it short for test purposes here and then find the folder that i'd usually export to and then set that up and obviously then just add that to the render queue and then render it so that's a really straightforward process for doing this as you can see it's really quick and you can copy that logic across to other clips with relative ease as well and then you can just export it and then make sure that it is in the right format and you can see that already in the viewer that it is indeed in that portrait format straight down the middle so that is the setup for that this has been the provoke prawn hope you found this video useful thanks for watching this has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.